All right, today we are going to be comparing decimals, percentages, and fractions. So the very first problem we have here is to figure out which one is greater. 0 and 49 hundredths or 94 percent and I know the most of you are going to look at this and say it's a simple answer it's clearly 94 percent however the whole goal here is to put them in the same form so we have decimal form and we have percentage form we want to put them in the same type of numbers so that way it's easy to understand so I would easily do this by taking the decimal keep in mind that's read correctly zero and 49 hundredths well 49 hundredths is written as a fraction just like that 49 hundredths well since it's out of a hundred the moment it's out of a hundred it's in percentage form so this one is simply 49 percent so now it's easy to compare the two numbers what's greater 49 percent or 94 percent and obviously this one is 94 percent that's how i would do that one on into the next one, they are asking us to take all these numbers and to order them from least to greatest. And it's going to be difficult only because all these numbers are in different forms. We've got fractions, we've got percentages, we've got decimals, fractions, decimals. So we have to choose which way we want to leave it. And for this one, I'm going to go with decimals. I don't know why, it just screams to me. Put them in decimal form. Now that's just simple because three tenths, how you read three tenths is just like that. And again, to take any fraction and turn it into a decimal, all you need is a calculator. So the fraction is three tenths. All you have to do is numerator divided by denominator. Three tenths, there it is, zero and three tenths or 0.3, right? So there's that one. Now let's go ahead and do three eighths. Three divided by eight, that's 0 0.375. So this one is 0 0.375. This one's already in decimal form. So we'll just leave that as 2 tenths. Uh, of course, this one's already in decimal form. That's 9 hundredths. And the last one is 15%. Well, keep in mind, all percentages are written out of 100. Well, the moment I write it out of 100, it's a fraction. It is a division problem. It is 15 divided by 100. And keep in mind, 15 divided by 100, it's just on the calculator, which is going to be 0 0.15. So now we've turned all of them into decimals. So now we have to order them from least to greatest. So I'm going to put these in order. The smallest one on the screen happens to be nine hundredths. That's the smallest one. So we'll put 0 0.09 first. So that one's been used. And the next smallest number looks like an I tend to look at these as money. So what I mean by money is if I put a zero back here, that's 30 cents. Put a zero back here, that's 20 cents, right? Then we have 15 cents and nine cents. So nine cents is the smallest. Now getting larger, it would be 15 cents, but I'm not gonna write it in that form. I have to write it in the original form, which was 15%. That one's done. Next would be 20 cents. So I have to write it as zero and two tenths. Next would be three tenths, three tenths. And that leaves the very last one, which is this one here. Now that looks like something weird, like 37 and a half cents, because that's actually what it would be. Three eighths is technically 37 pennies and then a half of a penny. But we're just going to write three eighths. That's the order from least to greatest on into the last problem that we have for today is a word problem lovely word problems you your sister and a friend each take time or i'm sorry each take the same number of shots at a soccer goal you make 72 percent of your shots your sister happens to make 19 out of 25 of her shots and your friend makes three-fourths of his shots so the question is, did your friend make more shots than you? So we have to compare these people. Well, the only way to compare these people is to put them in the same form, the same type of number. One was given in decimal form. Another one is given in fraction form. And of course, another one is in fraction form. So I would like to turn them all into, I think decimals are really simple. Well, we can turn these into percentages this time. We'll do it that way. So uh, the first one is 72%. And that says, um, 
you make 72%. So you is going to be the 72%. Now let's talk about your sister. So sister is given in fraction form of 19 twenty fifths. But remember that all fractions can easily be turned into percentages by putting them out of 100. So again, all fractions can easily be turned into a percentage if you put a 100 on the bottom in the, in the denominator position. That means the numerator position up here, that is simply going to be the percentage. So this is like a proportion. How do you go from 25 to 100? Well, that's multiplied by 4. And 19 to the bottom, you have to do it to the top. So now we got to do 19 times 4, and that will give us the top. So again, I'll just use the calculator to make it easy here. 19 times 4 is 76. So that means that your sister, she makes 76% of her shots. And then last but not least here, we have, and your friend. And the friend, it says it made three-fourths of his shots. So again, that is another fraction, three-fourths, but we're going to make that fraction into another fraction that's equivalent with a hundred in the denominator. The reason why I'm putting a 100 in the denominator is because percentages are out of a hundred. So you should spot the easy, simple way. How do you go from four to 100? Well, that's multiply by 25. So what you do to the bottom, you got to do the top and three times 25 is 75. So then 75% is your friend's percentage. So when it reads, did your friend make more shots than you? Okay. So let's look at your friend. So if the friend was 75%, there's friend at 75, more shots than you. What did you make? Well, you made 72%. So who made more? Did your friend make more shots than you? Yes, they did because 75% is more than 72. And the last one down here at the bottom in the green, did your friend make more shots than your sister? Again, we're just going to write down what your friend was. Your friend was 75%. Make more shots than your sister. Well, your sister made 76%. So who made more? Is 75% or 76% more? Well, 76% is more. So did your friend make more shots than your sister? The answer would be no. I hope this was helpful.